Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot. I'm back with another WordPress tutorial. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to build an online course and sell it from your WordPress website. So for this tutorial, we're going to be using LearnDash, link in the description where you can grab a copy. This is an excellent learning management system for building and selling courses. So in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to design the sign up page. You can learn how to make the course content, including lessons and topics and quizzes. You can have nice little multiple choice quizzes here, and it's not going to take very long at all. So if this sounds interesting, keep watching. Okay, the first thing we'll do is to install LearnDash. So we'll go to plugins and add new, and then we upload the zip file that you received when you purchased LearnDash, and then um, go ahead, install and activate. After the plugin is active, then you'll get this um, LearnDash LMS in your WordPress menu. The next step is we click the um, LearnDash LMS in our menu, and we'll go to our overview. And here we need to enter your license that you received when you purchased. Uh, just go ahead and put in your email and your license key there and, and click save. Next, we just want to change a few settings. So that's LearnDash LMS under settings. The general settings can be left as default. Um, we do want to change some PayPal settings. So go ahead, click PayPal settings. Uh, PayPal, put in your own PayPal email address there. The currency that you want to sell in. So if you want to sell in US dollars, USD, otherwise click the question mark and you can find the currency code for your currency. The country is the country you're based in. So I'm in Australia, so that's AU. Uh, if you're in the US, US. Um, otherwise you can find your country code there. And these things um, are left as default. The other thing we'll do is click use PayPal sandbox so we can test um, the PayPal functionality without actually processing any payments while we're working on our course. And after all that's done, go ahead and click save. And the last setting we need to look at is this one called data upgrades. So uh, we just want to sync our user data from WordPress to um, LearnDash. It's just recommended to do this when you're first setting it up. So just the first two here, upgrade user course data and uh, upgrade user quiz data. Um, that should all be fine now. Okay, we're ready to add a new course. So just go under the courses menu there and you can add a new course by clicking this one or under the header menu, you can add a new course there. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is where we can start adding our course content. So for this demo, I've got my course content in a Google Doc, but you can take your content from uh, whichever kind of file you like and paste it in, or you could write it live in the, um, in the course builder there. But um, I'm gonna call this one blog design course. And then we can put in a little bit of an introduction. Let's just pop that in there. And let's save the draft. We're also gonna to wanna to change some settings for the course. And so most of these you can leave on default. Uh, there's a few that I will talk through though. Course content, always visible. This will mean that the lessons and the topics um, are visible, but the actual content is not visible, or you can just hide it um, for everyone except for those who have been enrolled. So that's up to you. I'm going to leave it visible just so visitors could see um, what the list of topics are in the course without actually being able to read the, um, the course content. And the access mode, you can leave your course open or free, but they would have to register their email. That might be a nice way of collecting emails. Or you could say buy now for one set price. Let's just make that price maybe uh, $39.99. Or you could have a recurring fee or you could just make it closed. So um, if you wanted to make it closed, that might be useful if you were teaching physical students like in a classroom or um, doing corporate training where you wanted to just handle the enrollment yourself and then uh, the class would complete the course uh, as they needed to. These ones here we can leave as is and course progression uh, linear means they have to do lesson one before they can do lesson two before they can do lesson three or you could make it free form people could approach the lessons as they'd, uh, as they'd like to. So that's up to you. Let's maybe just leave it as linear for this demonstration. So once that's all done, let's save the draft. And I actually think we might be ready to publish. Before we hit publish, I'm just going to preview this in a new tab and so we can get a feel for what it will look like. So that's um, all we've done. And it does have our default WordPress uh, sidebar on there. So that's just a case of depending on which template you're using. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. So, so we just clicked edit course and then I'm just going to go down to the sidebars 
And let's just turn the no sidebars on there and hit publish. So now the course is live. Let's let's have a look at it. So this is what it looks like now. It's just our basic um, header menu along with our um, course intro and you've got a, a completion bar there. And so this is what you would see if you were enrolled in the course. If you were not in the course, however, you would just see this. You would see um, an option to take the course and the price along with the introduction there. So, and that's how that works. I think this is a little bit plain. I'm gonna, uh, let's add a little bit more design to this page. So let's go back to the edit course page and we can add um, sections to this page same as you'd add them to any blog post. So um, you could go ahead and add an image, for example, and grab one from your media library, see what we've got. Let's put this girl back in there. Go ahead and do that and hit update. And now it should look a little bit more interesting, at least with a featured image there. So let's just go with this for the example. Okay, now back to building our course. So we don't have any content in the course yet. So let's go to our um, course builder. So our courses are basically made of lessons and topics and we don't have any lessons yet. So let's go ahead and make a new lesson and let's go grab the title of lesson one. Lesson one is called setting up your blog. Let's add that lesson and click update here. It's important to click update after you change anything on the course builder, just to make sure your database is all linking up properly. Now we can start editing the lesson. Let's just click edit there. I'm going to open that in a new tab. So this is where we'd add the content from lesson one. So let's just grab that little bit of intro for lesson one. I'm going to pop that in there and hit update. There we go. We can view the lesson. Let's have a look. So there we are setting up the blog. Now again, we've got the um, standard sidebar here. Uh, you could go through it lesson by lesson and choose no sidebar if you don't want the sidebar. Uh, also in the case of, depending on which theme you're using, you just customize the theme. So it uses uh, no sidebars on these posts. So I'm using generate press. That's just a matter of going to layout and um, sidebars and setting the single post sidebar to no sidebar. And then that should disappear there and let's hit publish. Uh, it'll depend on what theme you're using, or you could do it page by page, up to you. Um, either way, um, sometimes you may want the sidebar. So let's just uh, hit reload here. And there we go, nice and clean. So now we're ready to add our first topic. So that's under courses and using the course builder here. Um, let's go ahead and hit this drop down and we can start to add a new topic. And we have to enter the title for the topic. So that is uh, 1.1, the introduction. And let's add the topic. Don't forget to click update here. Now we can go ahead and edit the topic. Let's just go ahead there. Let's make a new tab. So now we go ahead and put the um, introductory content in there. So this is these couple paragraphs. And again, it's not just text. You can add anything that you could add on a blog. So images, lists, galleries, audio, even you could embed uh, YouTube videos, whatever you like here. So let's go ahead and click update. And there we go. We can view our topic and this is basically what it will look like. So let's go back and see how this all looks so far. So under courses, we can see we've got our blog design course. Let's go ahead and click view. And this will show us what our course will look like so far. So there we go. We've got our introduction and here's our course content. So we can expand all. We can see we've got uh, one lesson with one topic and that's the introduction. We can go ahead, click that one. And then once you're finished reading it, you can click mark complete and then you've completed a section of the course. So let's just go ahead and um, add some more topics to our lessons. So back to our blog design course and I'm using the, the builder here and let's expand our um, lesson and we can go ahead, add a new topic and we need the next topic that is um, 1.2 using a starter site. Let's pop that in, click add topic. There we go, let's hit update. Now let's edit the topic, just uh, grab edit there. Okay, now let's grab our content for using the starter site, grab it, copy that, paste that in. Let's hit update, and there we go. If we go back to our course page, now we can see that we have two topics. So we can expand that and there they are. Okay, I'm just gonna add one more lesson and two more topics to this, and I'm just gonna skip ahead Okay, so I just added a new lesson, added two more topics, followed the same steps, and now if we go back to our course page, um, here we go, we can see all four topics with the two lessons there. 
Okay, another cool feature is quizzes. So we're in our course builder and we can just add a new quiz. I'm gonna call this quiz uh, the blog quiz. There we go, let's add the quiz. Okay, let's hit update. There we go, now let's go ahead and we can edit the quiz. You can put a little content in here before the quiz. So this is your final exam. There we go, let's hit update. And now let's go to our builder. Quiz has no content yet, so we have to add questions to our quiz. Let's add plus, add new question. I'm gonna call this question, is blogging great? There we go, I'm gonna copy that. I might use it again in a second. So add the question, let's hit update. There we go. And let's go ahead and edit this question. Is blogging great? That's the question, is it great? And the answer is no. And let's add another answer. The answer is yes. Let's add another answer. The answer is maybe. And I'm gonna say the answer is yes for this demonstration. Let's go ahead and hit update. Now it's worth noting it's not just single choice answers that you can do. You can do free choice or fill in the blank. You can make the student write an essay or give them an assessment. Um, Lots of different options there. I'm just gonna do a simple little quiz for this demo. And the other thing we should look at quickly is the quiz settings. Um, by default, you'll be able to um, attempt the quiz unlimited number of times. So let's just click edit and uh, wait for this to load up. There we go, let's click settings and here we go. So you need 80% to pass. You could make it 100% if you wanted your students to have to get 100% and uh, you can actually restrict quiz retake. So by default, that's turned off. The student can keep retrying until they hit 100. That might be good for workplace training where you need to um, do that sort of method. But uh, maybe if you're running a class, you could maybe say um, you can try it three times um, and you need to get it within three times to get the pass. Uh, totally up to you. I'm going to leave it as that and hit update. I mean, there's a, you could even set a time limit. Uh, you could provide links to uh, sources to help the students while they're doing the quiz. Um, a few different things there, but let's just keep things simple for this demo. So now back on our course page, we can see we've got our two lessons. Uh, we can expand them all. We can see all four of our topics. And now there's a blog quiz there. Um, we can go ahead and try the quiz. And it says here, and this is your final exam. Start the quiz. It's blogging great. Yes, it's great. Finish the quiz. And there we go. It's going to load up and say, bam, you got 100%. So, I mean, that's all there is to it. We've got a course, we've got content, we've got lessons, topics, and quizzes. Um, I think that's enough to get you started. So now let's just look at wrapping this up into a nice little package. Let's go back to our homepage. This is um, a simple homepage that I built in Generate Press in one of my previous um, videos. I'm gonna put the link in the description where I built that page. But um, let's go ahead and edit this with the Elementor. It doesn't really matter which page builder you're using. You could be using Gutenberg or um, Divi or anything. Um, I'm just gonna link the first button on my homepage. I'm gonna link that sign up button to the, um, the course. So here we are in our page builder. I've got that sign up button there, let's hit that. And then here's our link. Let's go and grab the link for the course and put that link in there. There we go, hit update. So now if someone came to visit your website, they would see, okay, there's a blog design course here. I can sign up go ahead and click that button and you'd be taken straight to the sign up page. You can see the price, you can do the enrollment. Um, you can see the content, but you can't actually look at the lesson. So you can see what the headings are, but um, it doesn't, it says you don't currently have access to this content, so you'd have to enroll. Um, I mean, there was an option earlier where you can disable that and just have uh, um, have a blank section there, but completely up to you. I like I like showing at least what uh, what topics you're going to get when you sign up, which can be can be helpful trying to sell the course. Okay, so hit like if this has been useful and also hit subscribe because I'm going to come back with more videos on different options on how you can build online courses. But I have to say, I really enjoyed using LearnDash. Definitely recommend it. Uh, link is in the description where you can grab a copy for yourself. There are obviously tons of features I didn't get to test, but my objective with the video was just to build a basic course, get it online, um, be able to sell it and have some basic features like lessons, topics and quizzes. So uh, I hope that's enough to get you started. Let me know what you think in the comments and thanks and I'll see you next time.